will prevail. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Neuronium. Welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. And it's about time I got back to this project. I apologize for the break. There was stuff going on in real life, so yeah. Anyway, some things have changed since the last time we have been here to record. For one, I have beaten my own version of Crash Bandicoot 4, so I know exactly what to expect now. We're gonna make some changes to the playthrough. Uh, first things first. Hello, modern mode. Yes, change the play style, please. Um, yeah. Yeah, we are uh, gonna be doing that for a reason. Uh, that reason being, dear God, some of these later levels are absolutely terrifying. Uh, number two. I'm gonna be going through the levels in order just to get to the story to be done. Uh, I will be doing side content too on the way, so no worries. But when it comes to gems, we're gonna be trying to get most of the gems on the way back. The main one is gonna be the box gem I'm gonna try and go for the first time. The death one, not so much. Reason for this. This game has a hard on for hidden boxes, dear God. Number three, we will be going and trying our best to get all the gems we can for right now, but there are some things that we have to beat the game first in order to be able to get, and I won't be starting some of that stuff until after we get the first ending of the game. So enough of that, let's go into booty calls. So. Let's go. All right, so here we are. It's been a, about a week since I last played, so I need to refresh myself on some things. But one thing to keep in mind is that we will be going out of our way to try and get box gems. Also, about the hidden boxes, just imagine that every single one of these dang boxes has something hidden above it. It's your best bet. Like, it is your best bet. Honestly. It's really bad. See, like, right here. Hidden box. Right there. Hidden box game. I love it. I love the story. I love the visuals. I do not love its fetish for hidden boxes. Do not die yet. We have not gotten the flashback tape. Honestly, for some of these uh, hidden boxes, it's honestly harder to find them than the hidden gems. It's like, what the heck? I can't count the number of, I can't tell you how many times I accidentally missed one box in a stage because of how it is. And part of the problem, this section. And I already failed because there was a box right below there. But luckily I have the flashback tape, so it does not matter. All is right with the world. I can die as many times as I want now. I'll go for the 
death ones sometimes. But trust me, some of these stages are very difficult. And when you miss a box and you're going after Foxy Box Gem. I thought I had missed those ones. And I gotta die. Looks like we're not gonna be getting ourselves a non-dying gem on this run. <laughs> like, if you don't wanna go insane, which, I mean, I'm already insane for trying to go after the box gem. If you don't want to go insane, your best bet is honestly go after the box gem first, ignore the death gem. And there we go. Ignore the death gem. And just get the death gem another time. Because otherwise you're gonna be in these levels for ever. And they're nice levels, but eventually you start to lose your patience. I can guarantee you on that. See, like right there, there was also a, there's also a like, I now see the delay there is when going up and that combined with the delay for the uh, capture cards that capture cards natively have can be kind of annoying. Luckily, the delay on my capture card isn't too bad. Technically, the ones that have the best uh, native capture are the Elgato cards, but not the biggest fan of Elgato anymore. There we go. Interesting. Somebody vacuuming? Yeah, they are. The heck? I can I hope you can't hear that. I I'm surprised I can hear that to be quite honest. Okay, that's one gem. And dear God, I'm shuddering at the perfect relics. Ugh. Okay, wait. Patience is a virtue. Unless you are going after the relics, which, oh my God, I haven't even tried the relics on my um, practice file. I, I, I fear. I fear for some of these relics because there is something you have to get the platinum relics. Ah! <laughs> so many collectibles. Walnuts, peanuts, pineapple smells, grapes, melons, oranges, and coconut shells. <laughs> okay, now let's break. Boxes, 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 boxes. And as you can see, when you don't have lives, you just get a bunch of Wumpa fruit.
Boop. All right. Now let us go to a hidden one. Now, one thing that I will say that I learned when doing this game is the fact that this game has a fetish also for um, these trials. Also, uh, one thing to keep in mind, the hang time you have with the slide jump is deceptive. So you actually have more of a hang time than you might think when you are using the slide jump over a ledge. And I think that's why a lot of people I've noticed for some playthroughs and people I've watched, uh, they weren't getting used to the, how the slide jump is. The slide jump isn't like how it was in older crash games. In this case, it's more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Hmm, what is the word I am looking for? That is a good question, Nero. What are you looking for? Well, I'm looking for gems for one. Now, if you want, you can do what I'm about to do, which is stupid. Pro game move! Hidden gem. Okay, I thought I got hit there. Watch out for raddies. Raddies with swords. Two, three, four, five. Right. Time it just right, Nero. Okay. There we go. Oh man, I was hoping to keep Aku Aku as a buffer. Because I don't trust myself with this game. Jimmy. Okay, I'm thinking of the other level. Please tell me I've got all the boxes. Please. Yes! No pain! And it did it in four deaths. So close. Well, Crash, let's go. You're gonna notice this playthrough is gonna take a lot longer because I'm gonna be a lot more careful. Uh, the fact that I'm one death away is always the pain. The pain of it all. All right, so that takes care of booty calls. So our next destination, hook, line, and sinker. Interesting, that doesn't look like a crash or cocoa. So interesting.
You're going to notice that the map does a lot of fun things, and I love it. So, new character we get to play as. Step. Spin. Spin kick. Boop. So this character has a grappling hook, a spin kick, and an amazing dive. Like an amazing dive. Look at that. That is good. With the grappling hook, you can stun enemies. Or hook shot, I call it a grappling hook. Always look off screen. Because otherwise, you will miss boxes. Because you can't really backtrack as easily in these stages because of sections like this. Kill slam bam. Boop. And this character can also wall jump. Yeah, that's not very hidden compared to some of these boxes. Boop. Boop. Thanks, Aku. Kick, kick, kick. Hello, Foxies. That's one gem. Boop. One of the problems is unless you manually target, you can easily miss. Boxes around that I'm missing. Nope. Okay. Around we go. Pop. Oh. Oh, she's having fun. Nope. 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 Boop. How many boxes are in this stage? Hundred. An actual relatively decent number. Oh. Ball kick will work. Boom, boom. There wasn't a box up there, was there? I don't see one. I can only hope. Boop. Okay, that's all those gems. Now for the fun part. Boop. 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 
Any boxes? Well, I don't get to decide anymore. How many do I have? Oh, thank God. Okay. Now, right here. This is dickish. You can see that box. Easily missable box. Eyes on target. Easily missable box. That's how this game is. So, that's hook, line, and sinker complete. And the insanely perfect relic earned. So, that's good. And we got the artiste. So, let's find out who this character is. Thank you so much. Wait, Tana? But you're different. You're not from our universe. It's good to see you guys. It's been a long time for me. We lost touch in your universe too, huh? Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> what did we like, die or something? What? No, nope, no, but no, definitely not. So how are things in your dimension? <clears throat> the usual. A bunch of evil scientists attempting interdimensional domination. Huh. So, uh, what you collecting? Crystals? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Gems? Masks. Ooh, fun. Well, good luck with that. <gasps> Wait, you're not coming? Sorry, I fly solo. But I'll, I'll lend a hand where I can. In fact, I already have. They sound so disappointed. It's so sad. So yeah, that's Tana. I like the redesign. I will say that right now. Love all the designs in this game. All of them. Good crash. Peak crash design. And we have the flashback level in unlocked, but also Tana Timeless Unlocked. Timelines unlocked. Tana's got her own agenda. Play her timelines to see how she crosses paths with Crash and Coco. So yes, we actually can play previous levels and find out if Tana's been helping us. And in this case, it was in Truck Stopped, otherwise known as Hit the Road. Interesting. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. This has been Neuronium. Next time, we're going to be tackling, for one, our first timeline one, because there is a trophy for completing all the timelines in the game by playing all the levels. And guess what? They have their own gems. And then we will be finishing up uh, Booty Calls with Jetboard Jetty. And if we have enough time, we'll do the flashback tape that we did. So, see you all next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to check out what helped revitalize the Crash Bandicoot series, check out the top link for a playthrough of the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. And if you want to see a fun racing game with Crash Bandicoot, check out the bottom link for a playthrough of Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled.